Budget magic time. Heading to modern to play some tempered tokens. And all right, I guess this hand is fine. No tempered, but we got some token makers and shrine, which can be good if it just sits out for a bit. So planes go. See what our opponent's up to. Celestial Colonnade. Well, play the planes, get down shrine, and pass the turn. So it'll be interesting. Blue white control probably has ways of dealing with shrine. But we get to start adding counters to our shrine. Play the planes, and let's just blade splicer. Opponent could have a counter. Ooh, no counter. All right, that's good news. Opponent gets a mountain. And there goes our golem. Well, I think we just have to pressure our opponent, basically. And hope that an end of turn Shrine of Loyal Legions. Ooh, Geist. Yikes. Okay. Well, the only good news here is we can play a planes, place Rom's expertise, get a counter on Shrine, place Servo Exhibition, get a counter on Shrine, and pass the turn. Opponent could have a sweeper. That would be bad. We could draw a tempered steel. That would be good. Opponent's going to go attacking. Well, we are just going to literally block with every creature we have. Opponent's probably setting up a wrath, but what can we do? Gotta get rid of the geist, so block everything. This means it's pretty much guaranteed to kill the geist. Unless they have, like, oh, some sort of weird pump spell. But electrolyze doesn't do it, etc., etc. So he dropped a 16. Geist, number one down. Opponent passes. Well, keep getting counters. We get a path. Well, go attacking. Get in with our servos. Opponent cracks Flooded Strand. Are we actually winning at the moment? Pass the servo. Well, that is glorious. We are very fine with that. And now I think we actually just pass. I think we're getting to the point where we need to value leaving up the shrine activation. Wow, to the face? Interesting. We got to value leaving up the shrine activation because we're getting close to the point where we can just shrine at the end of our opponent's turn and potentially just win the game. Opponent passes. We keep getting counters. Play the planes. Get in with our servos. Serve in for three, I guess you'd say. And let's just play hanger back X1. Pass the turn. Because the nightmare here is we get greedy, tap all of our mana, our opponent is able to like detention sphere our shrine or something and then and then we lose all this work opponent passing we keep getting counters huh how do we do this i guess we just attack with well let's leave back hanger back let's get in for three leave back hanger back opponent has snapcaster all right snapcaster for electrolyze yep okay well there goes some servos Opponent takes it, well, play Thraben Inspector, get another counter, and I think odds of us winning next turn are pretty high. Pass the turn, because we get to make nine, nine servos. Oh, mirror, nine mirror, whatever, mirror servo. Opponent goes face, all right, so our opponent is basically trying to win before the shrine goes off, but I don't think it's going to work. Flooded Strand. Because we even have a path for the first colonnade attack. So we're looking at just like path, take up hangar back, sack, shrine, attack with everything, and that will hopefully do it. There's certain visions. Opponent. Passing. Well, take up hangar back. And yeah, we're going to go for it. Sack, shrine. Make them here. Untap. Play the planes. Run out angel of invention. I guess the way our opponent stays alive here is cryptic to tap down our team. Angel of Invention. Make servos. Go to combat. Do they have the cryptic? I guess maybe we should have held this angel. Hmm. Well, we'll see. All right. Opponent's going to bounce and tap. So take up our hanger back. And I guess we just got a path snapcaster. And our opponent scoops it up. Whoo, we got there. We got there. We got there. Yeah, I think that was a slight misplay to not hold the Angel, because Cryptic into Wrath would be the way we would lose, even with this hanger back. So I think 
I think that was a mistake, but it worked out. So against this deck, Selfless Spirits certainly have to come in. Probably our single best card in this matchup. Hangerback's Resilient. Master's Call is Instant Speed. What can we go down? It might just be like Angel of Invention, a Master's Call, and a Sram's Expertise, something like that. I don't think Tormod's Crypt is good enough as Graveyard Hate to bring in. So let's run it like that. Well, we got Tempered Steel, which is... An easy way to steal some games, so we're going to keep this. And we have Thrayman crack the clue. Scalding Tarn for our opponent. Hopefully we draw non-lands. All right, Servo Exhibition's fine. Thrayman Inspector, pass the turn. Skull Flooded Strand for our opponent. Feels like they're land light since they're not cracking these. Well, let's get in with Thrayman Inspector. And I think we just Servo Exhibition. Opponent cracks. Opponent did do some mulliganing, too, which I'm sure works in our favor. Ooh, untap land. That's good news. And an island. So opponent's down to 15 just from their land cracking. Negates servo exhibition. That's eh, okay. We can deal with that. Planes for our opponent. Well, get in with Thraben Inspector. Play the planes. Play Thraben Inspector. And pass the turn. Start sacking clues. No rush to run this into a counter spell, especially considering we don't have any artifacts to pump at the moment. Bone it. Going aggro with the spell queller. Interesting. Down to 18. Serum Visions. Well, we can always path the spell queller at some point if we need to. Well, cash in clue number one. Copter is pretty excellent. And a servo exhibition. So let's get in with our Thraben in inspectors. Play servo or play planes, play servo exhibition. Hopefully, ooh, resolves. All right, let's pressure. Smuggler's copter, resolves. All right, well, now we're pretty close to Tempered Steel win the game, honestly. Lightning Helix are phase. Well, now we're a bit farther away. Opponent did scry to the top, so they're getting something they want. We'll just take the beats rather than firing up our Smuggler's copter here. Opponent passes. Now we get to really pressure our opponent. So play the planes, run out Tempered Steel, and I think they're counter or bust here. Opponent has Spell Queller. Well, that is fine. Spell Queller down, so we pass Spell Queller. Get back our Tempered Steel. Crew up our Smuggler's Copter. Attack for approximately a billion. Loot, discard Ghost Quarter. Opponent down to three. Tempered Steel is a really powerful magic card. Worth building around, I say. And it's looking like we got there. Wow. We just served. <laughs> just got control. Servoed. Sweet. Thanks for watching the video. If you're subscribed, make sure to hit that bell icon to get notifications for all the latest videos. It's a great way to support the channel for free. And you can find the next video right here.